there YouTube, Katja Green here and today I'm here in one of my studios here in San Diego, East Lake locations more specifically and I am so excited to show you one of my favorite warm-ups or ways to start a class. Um, I'm actually gonna have a full class but on YouTube I'm just gonna be posting the uh, warm-up and if you are interested if you like what you see click on the link on the description below and you can get the extended version with the full class in there okay but before that please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell on the top that way you get notified every time I upload these videos. So let's get started. I have my machine here on a short box right now with a yellow spring in there and this is a very out there bar inspired workout and, and warm up, okay? So I would love to hear your comments. What do you think about that? So what we're going to do, we're gonna push the carriage like this. We have a yellow spring and we're gonna go inside of the machine right here. And then from here, I like to cue. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna be cueing you like I would do in a class, okay? And, um, I'm going to do less reps than what I would usually do. Usually in my class I would do 8 to 10, but I'm only going to be doing like 4 or 5 here, okay? So, standing up right on your, on your heels, let's have your heels aligned with your hips, more, more specifically under the seat bones right there. Creating awareness of your posture here and reaching your head up towards the ceiling really, really, really tall. Bring out awareness to your feet. Make sure your feet is aligned, toe to toe right there, aligned. And imagine your feet like a tripod. So pinky toe and big toe and heel, a tripod. And you're sharing the weight of your body right there. If you have a mirror in front of you, make sure you align your shoulders, they are leveled, and lift the head up towards the ceiling, tall, to the point that you can feel a little less weight, uh, uh, weightless, a little more weightless on your feet, really lengthening, feeling that uh, stretching on your back and releasing uh, pressure on your spine, right? From here, Take your arms in front and lift up towards the ceiling to go even taller, but keep that shoulder away from the ears, lengthening, 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 rib cage closed, feeling even more weightless here. Abs are tight and you're gonna do a little extension of the spine, but I want you to not put pressure on your lower back. So, so connect with the abdominals and just open up the heart up towards the ceiling. Feels good. And then we're going to come back and place your hands on the box. And then you're going to have chin to the chest here and you start going to roll down through the spine as you push the box. You want to keep your tail up towards the ceiling and the center of the room and towards the foot bar. So you're not going out the way to the edge of, to the um, stopper here no no your your tail will be going towards that way towards the foot bar like this and here I want you to take a minute to focus on your breath and to focus in releasing the weight of the body the chest is right there going towards the floor you're releasing your neck here saying no you can sway a little bit side to side with the shoulders and I don't know if I told you but you're supposed to have a yellow spring okay in case I didn't say it before and now I want you to create that awareness on your feet again on that tripod and we're gonna move the weight of the body a little bit towards the toe oscillate a little bit and when you do that it's a very tiny movement on the machine I want you to open up more that space on your chest the heart towards the earth and then you're gonna oscillate a little bit to the heels a tiny little movement and you lift that tail up more towards the ceiling you're gonna do again in, in, in adding the breath, inhaling, 
exhale in, or whatever the breath works for you. Breathing though, moving and going lower with the chest and higher with the tail. And then pushing back, weight again on the, on the tripod, rolling back, tucking the tail under, rolling back up to the spine, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra by vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, balancing on your feet and doing it again. Arms up towards the ceiling, connecting with the abs. So we're more flowy here now. Opening the chest up, circling the arm this time, holding on the box here, chin to the chest, pressing out on the carriage, tail goes up towards the ceiling in the center of the room, chest go towards the floor. We move and oscillate and we move towards the toe, chest goes heavy, towards the heel, tail goes higher, towards the toe, chest goes heavy, heels and higher. In again. All right, and from here we're gonna again move the weight of the butt, tucking the tail under, rowing, resisting the carriage a little bit to articulate the spine, bone by bone by bone by bone by bone by bone. And up. And open again, circling the arm, putting the hands on the uh, box. From here, we're going to push the box at the same time you open the arm to the side for a little spine rotation. So you're going to do this. You look on the back hand and you come back and you're going to do to the other side. Again, your tail goes to the center of the room and up towards the ceiling and the chest comes down to the floor. And guys, this feels absolutely delicious. It feels so nice and you start really uh, feeling a nice stretch on the body here. I would do one more each way. Last one. Oh yeah. And now from here, guys, we're gonna go and Stand up with one foot only, like your, in my case, I'm gonna keep my left foot, and then put your foot on the box if you are that flexible. If you're not that flexible, then you can put on the, on the carriage as well. And from here, I like to do the same thing. I lift my up, arm up towards the ceiling, feeling weightless, getting more balance on that tripod, and now it's just one foot. Reach, 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 connect with the abs, open the heart to the sky, circle arms around and you're gonna do the same thing we did before you're gonna extend the knee tail is gonna go that way don't push all the way to the edge that way towards the foot bar to extend the leg chest goes really close inhale bend come up lift the arms up circle around hands on the carriage extend inhale bend Lift arm up, circle around, abs engaged. You're not supposed to be feeling on your lower back. If you're feeling on your lower back, it's because you are on your lower back, which you're not supposed to. So connect the abs. This is amazing, as you can see, to you know, warm up shoulders, hip, the entire body, really. And one more. Up nice and tall. Great. As you know, I do not like to do static stretches in the beginning. I keep it flowy like this. Uh, so now we're going to switch leg. Here we go. Same thing. First one. Nice and tall. Abs tied. Keep cueing that to, the, to your clients. Connect with the abs. Open that heart to the ceiling. Circle around. Tail goes to the center of the room. Exhale. Woo! Nice little bit of stretch here. Inhale. Arms up, circle, you get a little more flowy. Exhale, inhale, lifting arm up, circling around. Exhale, inhale, circle arm around. Exhale, I'm doing one more here. I forgot how many I did last side, but here we go. Oh yeah, we out. 
Yeah, so from here you can move on. It's already a good stretch. People are gonna feel it. Or you can, I like to progressively move to a class, right? So I'm gonna give you a little more today and show you what I have next. Uh, yeah, which is a kind of warm up, but more like a workout, so why not? So I'm gonna step with my leg outside the reformer, just one leg. The other one stays inside like this, just to have more space here. And then the first one, again, they're aligned, aligned, um, tripod, all that same cue. So the first one I'm gonna do exactly like I did the first warm up, just so, just so you, the client understands what is, what is up to be coming here, just a little push out. Except that this one I would cue more like a downward dog pose on the reformer pushing like the heels on the floor, chest down towards the earth like this. Inhaling here, exhaling, rolling back up to the spine. Now things are gonna get more and more fun. Now we're gonna have the client balance on the leg that is inside of the reformer. The leg that's outside the reformer is gonna bend. Abs are gonna be tight. As you push, you wanna lift that knee high. Okay, so it's almost like the dancers posing yoga, cueing them to keep that knee as high as possible and chest as low as possible, and then coming back up. So again, I, I make as many as possible. I don't know, depends on the class, what I'm going to intend on the class, but today I'm just gonna do one more here. It feels amazing, guys. So also I can do it with the leg straight up, lengthening the leg so I would be cueing to lower the heart to the, to the earth and the toe up towards the ceiling and pulse two, three. And at this point, I'm gonna have them bring the knee to the side to a fire hydrant and reach uh, back up again and point and squeeze one, two, three, the glute little pulses out to the side, lifting up and go, one, two, three. And you can progress on this or not, you can bend the knee even more, you can have them maybe balance in one hand only, try to grab the toe, an attempt to do a nicer, deeper stretching here, and then coming back up. But you definitely, Ooh, you definitely feel a lot on the bottom leg and you feel like so open. Hip opens, the shoulder opens. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, not to mention it's kind of an inversion there, right? And it's a mood lifter. Love to do that. Start your class that way. People are already in a good mood. <laughs> so now we're gonna do everything on the other side. Ready? Let's go. So foot inside of the reformer aligned, feet aligned here. We start with like, just like the first one, reaching up towards the ceiling, opening the chest, circle around, hands on the box, C curve, resisting, pushing tail towards the, the center of the room, up towards the ceiling, more like a downward dog pose here, feeling on your heels, pushing the chest to the earth, and then we're gonna come back up. And now this time we're gonna balance on the leg that's inside of the reformer. Knee bends here, and we're gonna go out the way down. Oh gosh, that feels so good. And then coming back up, and again pushing, lifting the knee higher and higher telling your clients to try to do every repetition better than the one before, going lower with the chest, going higher with the knee. There. And then we can move on to the extended leg and fire hydrant. Here we go. Down here you can extend the leg, lengthening up, heart to the, the floor pulse one, two, three, fire hydrant. And again, extend and go, pulse, one, two, three, fire hydrant, two. Again, just doing a few, few reps here. 
fire hydrant three, right? Then staying on that beautiful lengthened pose, balancing, if it's available to your client, reaching to the foot, stretch, 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 deep, and carefully coming back. Ah, oh yeah. And yes, guys, this would be the stretch, the warm up, and I hope you enjoyed. Now, if you like this a lot, it may be worth it for you to check the link down below in the description and see the full class because I have a lot in there for you. It's gonna be really, really fun. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.